Hello everybody, it's uh, June 28th and it is really hot outside. I'm going to show you my milling machine that I got into production today. We'll take a look at the thermometer if you don't believe me. Let's see if you can see this. Um, looks like 114 outside, 83 degrees in the shop. Not too bad. So, I got my milling machine set up here. It has three axis power feed. There's the X, the Y, and the Z feed with a digital readout display. And I'm currently milling a uh, counterweight for my engine that I'm building. It's a little two-cylinder engine that I'm trying to build. Also on this platform that I built, it took me several months to get all this together. I have a hoist. There's the hoist arm. What it does is it uh, helps me pick up this vise. You can see the hook on it. This vise weighs about 70 pounds, so um, it's kind of kind of a pain to pick up. So here we go. Oh yeah, that's Daisy. She's trying to get attention. She's she's like, Dad, you're talking, so you have to pay attention to me. And then there's Molly supervising over there. Hi, Molly. You're being good. Daisy's not being good. Goofy little dog. So anyway, I'm set up here on my uh, counterweight that I'm making for this engine. Um, I've got a fly cutter installed. I have a variable frequency drive installed, two horse motor on the back. Retrofitted this mill so instead of single speed I wanted variable speed. I added the potentiometer right here. And the MO works. Had to rewire the entire mill to get so that I can hit the red button and everything stops. So anyway, right here now I got 0.358 inches. I want to take off another 25 thousandths on this. Well, we'll go for maybe we'll, we'll take it down to 60 thousand or take it down to 300 thousandths even. My target dimension. I'm raising the table up with my right hand as I'm filming. My target dimension is 248, so this will bring me within 50 thousandths of my target dimension. So that's dialed in there. The head is set, so now I'll turn the turn the mill on to forward speed. As again, I can speed it up, slow it down. So about the right speed right there. And let's see, as long as I don't go crazy here, I want to adjust my speed and I'm going to start making a cut. Taking 50,000 off. Okay. Back it up. Actually, I took 58,000 off. Backing it up a little bit faster. I have a variable. Oh, that's it. Okay. Now let's power it down. Turn it head off. Let's see where I'm at. Kind of hard to do this. One-handed. Should be 300 thousandths. I am at 303 thousandths as measured. Mill says 299, so I'm 3 thousandths off. So I'll readjust this, reprogram it. I'm gonna say okay, it's 30, it's 303. The micrometer said, so I'm gonna set this to 0 .303 enter so now the mill knows exactly where that heads at now I can do my finishing cuts right down to the 248 which is what I need this counterweight with the B for this engine thought you'd enjoy seeing my new toy um, I'm pretty happy with it so there you go have a good day guys